And we're back to Inkscape 1.4 updates. We have a new grid. It's called the modular grid. Go to edit document properties. Don't mistake that for the guides. It's right next to it. Looks a little bit similar. We still have the rectangular grid and the external metric. Just some slight changes here to the menu. You can always remove these grids with the function down here. But the new one, the big new change here is the modular grid. And by default, this gives you the square tiles. Let me put the menu here. By default, enabled and visible should be checked. So these two boxes on the left. And then you can set the grid units right here. Let me switch it to pixels. Origin for X and Y is for the center position of this new grid. So by default, zero is the center of your document, your canvas. And you can set that with positive and negative values. Move it up, down with Y, left and right with X. Block width and block height. They determine the size of these tiles. Then we have a gap, which is the gap between the tiles. Let me make that smaller. And you can see that here, you can bring them closer together and with negative values, even overlap them. And then we have a margin and this can be used to create a tile for each of these tiles. So you can see this as a bleed and with negative values, you can bring them inwards so that each tile has this bleed inside. Let me make this five and five. The two colors are then for the inner and the outer tile. So minor would be the bleed and mayor would be the general tile. If you don't want to use them, make sure that your snapping is enabled can see that how my cursor snaps to the line and the corners. So you want to have snapping generally enabled here. And then you want to check your grids and the grid lines. Grids, when this is active and the lines aren't, you can only snap it to the corners, but not to the lines themselves. And when you want to have them snapping to the lines, make sure that grid lines are also checked. And now you can see it snaps to the corners and to the lines for both of these. So the inner and the outer tile. Want to get rid of it. Let me press Ctrl A, I delete it. Just go to File Document Properties. Go to Grids and there's the Remove function. Can't see it. Maybe this window is a little bit too small. Just scroll down and that should say Remove. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.